Just because we don't have all the fancy kitchen appliances doesn't mean we can't cook great meals. I say you invest in one appliance that's gonna give you a good return on the investment. I'm talking about the crock pot. Today, I'm not making a stew, uh-uh. I'm making a cake in a crock pot. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. Welcome to Struggle Meals. Frankie, I do the crock pot all the time. I love making stews, but I'm not making a stew. Nay, we're using this crock pot to make a coffee cake. That's right, we can use this as a baby oven. Let's start with our dry ingredients. I've never been the best baker because baking is about exact measurements. And this guy right here, he doesn't like that. He's all about, eh, do the right amount of stuff. The other reason I'm not great at baking is because I don't own measuring cups or measuring spoons. What I do have is this mug. And honestly, there is wiggle room on the measurements of this dish because this is a very moist environment and there's leeway, there's play, there's forgiveness in this recipe and in this cooking device. So I would say just stick with something, keep using it, have a constant for whatever your cup is. Oh, okay, going for the sugar. Brown sugar! Teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of baking soda. Teaspoon of salt aka the heel of a spoon of salt. Coming in with the struggle whisk. This one's small. This is the struggle whisk 5,500. And we have dry ingredients that are all done. Let's set this aside. All right, two thirds oil, one and a third milk, and two eggs. Lord, give me strength. Yes. Whisk. Okay, that's nice. Let's mix the wet with the dry, the divinity of this marriage will begin, and together they will create an epic and dazzling cake. Ooh, dual whisks. I have to say, this is looking like the right consistency of something that is baked. When I kind of throw the batter onto itself, it sort of holds that shape for a second. About half a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon. Take the back end of the spoon here, break this up. All right, so this actually smells a lot like coffee cake because this is what coffee cake is made out of. But the crazy thing is, coffee cake doesn't have coffee in it. I think you just drink coffee with this cake. <laughs> I'm very excited about our little oven here. Uh, a little more vegetable oil on a paper towel. We're gonna come around the sides like this. So we're going half, all the sugar. Just trying to spread it out pretty evenly because this is not something you can really like mix out with a spoon, obviously. Batter again. Yes. Very good. Oh, look at these ribbons of coffee cake. So this is gonna cook in here now. If I just go straight with the top, we're gonna probably have a soggy cake because we're gonna get all this condensation coming up and then we're gonna have storms throughout the evening. But if we use a tea towel, nay, a coffee towel, then all that condensation will absorb into the coffee towel and not fall back down as rain. It will escape as water throughout the sides. So there's no oven needed. We can cook it all in this crock pot and we're saving money on energy because we're just heating a fine little area inside the pot. An oven heats a lot, it's very inefficient. But what we do need is patience because this is gonna take two and a half hours, but I promise you it's gonna be worth it. Cake is almost done, let's make a little fast icing. Powdered sugar. Boom, 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 boom. Ba, 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 ba. Just a dibble of vanilla. Milk just to bring it together. Very nice, it's looking like icing. Miraculous. I've let the coffee cake cool a little bit. Let's pull it out. Ta -ta! Enchanting! Look at this. Oh yes. It smells great. The density seems exactly where it should be for this type. Let's try it. Ha ha! Look at the sugar layer. Ooh, you can see that it rose up the side faster than the middle. This is like the fossil record of the coffee cake, no joke. Douse it with a little bit of our syrup here. Oh yes. I'm gonna get eight servings out of this, but this piece right here, 27 cents. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> Who knew that a crock pot could deliver a marvelous, miraculous coffee cake. And I didn't even need a real oven. So if you're a dorm room person or someone with a little kitchenette, bust out your crock pot and make the most moist and delicious coffee cake the world has ever seen. An eighth of
of a teaspoon is a baby pinch, and a quarter of a teaspoon is two. Half of a teaspoon is a half dome of a nickel, and a quarter dollar, it's a teaspoon, true. And what if I told you that the bottom of a soda can, when it's full, the bottom of a soda can, well, it's the same as a tablespoon, put out your hand. Yeah, and a cup is a cup, and a glass is a cup, and a mug is a cup, can you see what's up? You do not need to buy traditional measuring utensils, my friend.